again today let's learn this lovely broccoli stitch really cute stitch the texture is amazing I will show you here I did in blue color really cute and let's learn on this lovely green I am at my very first row I did one sequence of two you may work from the row number one till number 16 to see what I did here and now I will start again this sequence for this uh, these two bubbles we have here for this stitch let's work with a multiple of six and you will have two stitches more as your edge stitches if you want to add more stitches before it starts the sequence of our uh, broccoli you may add just side by side with your left your um, edge stitch sorry i have here 14 stitches and let's start row number one uh, as always i never do my first stitch let me skip the first one and now let's do one stitch has a knit yarn to the back let's knit the next stitch and now yarn in front purl two one and two and now let's do on the same foundation stitch let's grab five stitch knitwise yarn to the back and let's do this one one stitch yarn over let's go to the stitch again again yarn over let's go to the stitch again and now we have our five stitches on the same stitch one two three four five and now let's purl two knit one purl two and again five stitches on the same stitch one yarn over yarn over again and we have five stitches again on the same loop purl two and the last one has a knit for number two let's skip the first one let's knit nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine per one yarn in front knit nine one two three four five six seven eight and nine for one and knit the last one now your row number three number four number five number six 
you will do the stitches exactly as you have them. Where you have knit, you will knit. Where you have purl, you will purl. Number three, number four, number five, and number six. And I will see you at the row number seven. I'm about to start my row number seven, and this is the row where we we will join five stitches in order to do the head of our little broccoli. Five stitches in one. Let's do it. Let's skip stitch number one. And now let's do one knit yarn to the back, yarn in front, let's purl two, one, and two. And now on this step, if you need the help of a crochet hook, go ahead and use it in order to push all the stitches because we need to go as a knit behind the stitches like so and see you need to go through five stitches I have three four and five it's a bit tricky and now you may you may grab this thread the thread may go through all the stitches I don't know if I can do it let me try let me see otherwise I need to use the crochet hook I will do it the crochet hook and I can show you how to do it as well put your stitches on your crochet hook one two three four and five and now let's go with our thread a uh, yarn sorry between all the stitches like so here we have the stitch and now let's go with it to our main needle like so here we have purl two one two knit one purl two again here let's do the same we did here with five stitches with these five then you do purl two and you finish with one knit seven it's made a row number eight let's do the stitches exactly as they are where we have knit let knit and where we have where we have pearls let's purl and row number eight says skip one knit two purl knit two purl knit two purl knit two purl and your last stitch has a knit let's do exactly as they are and now from row number nine till row number 16 we will start to do the second sequence this one we did this one from row one till eight and now from nine till 16 let's do this one let's start row number nine skip the first stitch exactly here on this next stitch let's work five stitches as we did exactly here the same five stitches there go one time as a knit yarn over go again grab your yarn yarn over and let's go again and now we have five stitches and now let's do purl two one two Let's knit one, purl two, one, two, again we may do five stitches here, okay, the same with it, grab your yarn, yarn over, 
Let's go to the stitch again. Yarn over and let's go to the stitch again. We have five stitches. And now let's borrow two. Knit one. Borrow two and finish as a knit. Okay.